Between 1968 and 1972, America launched nine human missions to the moon, six of which successfully touched down, allowing 12 men to walk on the lunar surface. NASA's next chapter of lunar exploration, called Artemis, has the task of not just going to the moon, to create a long-term human presence on and around it, but also to prepare for ever more complex human missions to Mars. Imagine a world where dreams are no longer confined to Earth, where humanity takes its next giant leap into the cosmos, and where pioneers of diverse backgrounds unite to embark on an extraordinary mission. Welcome to the most incredible adventure of our time. The Moon, Earth's celestial companion, has captivated our imagination for centuries. It's a place of mystery, wonder, and untapped potential. Today, we're diving deep into a mission that will forever change our understanding of the Moon. Meet the extraordinary crew of Artemis II, the mission that will make history. But this isn't just any mission. It's a mission filled with groundbreaking firsts. First, there's Commander Reed Wiseman, a seasoned astronaut who's no stranger to space. He's about to make history again, this time as the commander of Artemis II. Next is pilot Victor Glover, who recently completed a record-breaking mission aboard the International Space Station. His experience will be vital on this journey. Then we have Mission Specialist 1, Christina Hammock Cock. With her incredible accomplishments, including the longest single spaceflight by a woman, she's an inspiration to us all. Finally, there's Mission Specialist 2, Jeremy Hansen, representing Canada. He's a distinguished astronaut who brings a unique perspective to the mission. These remarkable individuals will work together to execute an ambitious set of demonstrations during the Artemis II mission. What will an Artemis mission look like? Everything is designed and tested with our most important element in mind, the astronauts. This is their deep space, human-rated spacecraft called Orion. Built in three parts, the crew module where up to four astronauts will live and work throughout the flight, the service module with life support systems for the crew and its own engine and fuel reserves, and a launch abort system with engines capable of pulling the crew module to safety during launch. Should anything go wrong, to accomplish the task of launching our crew and heavy payloads. NASA is building the Space Launch System, comprising of a cargo hold, an exploration upper stage, a massive core stage, and two extended solid rocket boosters. Altogether, this is the world's most powerful rocket, and it exceeds the legendary Saturn V of the Apollo era in numerous ways. Sitting on the launch pad, the entire rocket, fully fueled, weighs just over 6 million pounds. 5.2 million of which is just the fuel. Once ignited, there is no stopping what comes next. All four RS-25 engines and the two solid rocket boosters come to life, thundering our crew upwards. Two minutes after ignition, the solid rocket boosters are spent and released. Eight minutes after launch, the core stage is depleted and separated. The upper stage fires briefly, placing Orion into a parking orbit around the Earth. Here, the crew reconfigure the spacecraft and check systems to confirm everything is ready for deep space travel. With a go from Mission Control, the crew reignite the exploration upper stage engines to leave Earth entirely. The exact timing of this maneuver is critical to reach a speed that can escape Earth's gravitational pull, but also put Orion on a course that will intersect the Moon days later. Once this burn is complete, the upper stage of the SLS is jettisoned and the crew on board Orion Coast for several days toward all that awaits them at the moon. Returning to their crew as they approach Gateway, the Orion must match the elliptical orbit of the station in order to successfully dock. Once on board, pre-selected crew members transfer to the lunar lander while those assigned to Gateway remain on station. The lunar lander system itself is built for three unique steps descending from the halo orbit of Gateway down to a low lunar orbit, descending from low lunar orbit to the surface, and once the lunar mission is complete, launching from the surface of the Moon and ascending all the way back to the orbiting Gateway. Once back aboard the Orion spacecraft and undocked from Gateway, the crew fire their engines to break out of the halo orbit and once again to sling the spacecraft around the Moon, placing it on a multi-day trajectory back towards Earth. As they near the end of this journey, the service module is released and the crew module is oriented heat shield first, entering Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. 
On the moon, robots and humans will search for valuable resources like water, which can be converted into oxygen and fuel. This is a game changer for deep space travel. But why go back to the moon, and how will it impact us? The knowledge gained will be a stepping stone for the ultimate goal, sending humans to Mars. This mission will be historic for another reason. Among the crew are the first woman, the first person of color. So is it worth it? Absolutely. This mission represents not just the achievements of a few, but the aspirations of humanity to explore the unknown, to push boundaries, and to inspire generations to come. Get ready to witness history in the making as Artemis II prepares to launch, bringing us one step closer to a future among the stars. Stay tuned for more updates as we follow this incredible journey. Subscribe, like, and share to be part of the Artemis generation. The moon awaits. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary adventure.